Hi, and welcome to episode eight of Cardio Confessions. We are already at episode eight, which means I am four weeks out from my show. I am really excited to be this close. Um, prep has been, it's been different this year, but it's been, it's been good. <laughs> For the most part, it's been good. Um, definitely it's flown by fast which did create a little sense of like, I don't know, pressure, I guess a little anxiety. You would have heard me talk about last episode a little bit, but now at the four week mark, um, you know, I mean, even up before now, I've had to just trust my coach and just follow the plan, just execute, do what I need to do. But now at the four week mark, I'm really starting to feel and see the changes. I'll post a photo just for reference of where I started in prep to where I am now from some of my check-in photos. I'll put it up on the screen here in this episode so you can see. Um, but I really do need those reminders sometimes of like where I've started and where I am because, I don't know, I guess because I look at myself every day, I see myself every day. Sometimes it's hard to see those changes, but now I do feel like I'm seeing them a lot more. Like even like as I train in the gym, I'm seeing like my lines pop up more. My body feels tighter, my weight is dropping consistently. So, feel really good. I have been tightening up my posing a lot more. I also, um, so I did another posing session with my posing coach Julia this week. Uh, we made some tweaks to my routine, focused on like hand movements, being as graceful and slowing down some of the movements where I need to. Uh, my coach also, about a week ago, I don't know if I told y'all this last episode, but or if it was since then, but he noticed the imbalance on my left side in my back pose where my trap is tight and it's causing my lat to kind of collapse. So I'm losing some width, which is very important. I'm losing some width on my back pose. So he was like, I really need to do some body work and focus on releasing that trap and you know, getting my full the full width on that back pose. So I was doing, you know, my stretching, my rolling, my trigger point myself, but I decided to start getting some body work this week. So I had my first session yesterday, I did cupping, uh, which I'll show you. I have some photos of that as well. I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Um, I did cupping and then I actually had a massage at the spa yesterday, about an hour and a half, two hours after my cupping session. So my back felt amazing. I took a photo and sent it to my coach after the cupping and the massage and he was like, it's such a great difference. Um, I also found out that my coach is going to be at my show. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my coach is not based where I am. I'm based in the Bahamas. I live in Nassau, Bahamas. My coach is actually based in Arizona. I've been working with him since 2021. Um, and over the years, most times when he has multiple athletes at a show, he will, you know, be at the show. Um, and about two years ago, I think, he was at um, a show uh, with me. And when I tell you that was one of the smoothest show days <laughs> of my life, my makeup and hairstylist flew with me. Boxer came with me from Nassau. She did my hair and makeup for the show, like at our Airbnb. She stayed with us. Um, having my coach there made it so much smoother backstage. Like he just was like, hair eat this, hair drink this. Instead of me having to like, you know, keep checking my phone, like if he wasn't there, I'd have to keep checking my phone for his instructions, which he is very responsive. Um, you know, so it works out either way, but like having him physically there and like making the tweaks, adding a little glaze on me if I need it, having my tan touched up. He actually did my suit placement for me that year that he was there like glued my suit in place. Just all things that I would have had to figure out on my own or with the help of like the show um, organizers, which who are also really good, the show that I'm going to um, in Virginia. But I found out he's gonna be there, so I'm excited about that. And he agreed um, to cut me because, well, if I, if, let me rewind. <laughs> he agreed that if um, the cupping helps my back pose that he would cup me in Virginia. So I'm gonna show y'all, well I would've put the photo here for y'all to see 
what cupping looks like before or after. Um, it does leave a little bit of mark, so I'm thinking he probably won't cut me too long to where I get marked up. Um, but yeah, cupping and the massage were beautiful. I did a hot stone massage, which I love. That's my favorite type of massage. And what else? What other updates? Yesterday was also my anniversary, October 19th. So I'm filming this Sunday, October 20th, just for reference. Um, my fifth year wedding anniversary was yesterday. And my husband and I, I've been in prep <laughs> for every year that we've been married. I've been in prep for our anniversary. Uh, so we don't typically, you know, do a huge celebration. We did our gift exchanges. Um, and then we did a little dinner last night, obviously. I had to kind of eat within a restricted uh, way, but it was really nice. We had a really nice day, very relaxing, very chill. And we agree that after the show, we'd like fully celebrate. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, some updates to nutrition. My low days got extended, so now I'm doing six low, one high. I actually got a little more food on my high day. My carbs got bumped up to 20, bumped up by 25 grams on my high day. And I've had to now cut out artificials, so artificial flavors, art any artificial like sweeteners, that type of stuff, I had to cut out. So that means my pre-workout fat burning cocktail has now been cut out because of the artificial flavors in it. And my protein powder has also been cut out. So I am now pretty much eating white fish, um, ideally fresh. So I have a little bit more frozen tilapia that I'm gonna just cook today, run through that. And once that's done, which should be done within the next like three days, I'm gonna switch over to fresh fish. Um, it's not gonna be fresh tilapia because I am in the Bahamas. So <laughs> we don't have uh, tilapia hair, so like fresh. So I'm gonna do snapper, which is pretty similar nutritionally. I think the fat content maybe is like slightly different, but I'll just adjust my macros to accommodate. We'll adjust my meals to make sure that my macros are accounted for with the snapper. So I can do snapper, I can do egg whites, um, lean turkey and lean ground beef for my proteins right now. So no protein powder, which I was doing a lot of. I started cutting back on it um, maybe about a week or so ago. Um, but I knew this was coming, so I started kind of weaning myself away from it. So no sugar-free creamers, no, yeah, no protein. And I had to switch from my powder fat burners back to my pill. And yeah, I've been doing that maybe, maybe now. He just told me that about two days ago, so not been doing that for too long. But uh, water also got bumped up from a gallon, so a gallon and a half. And I've had to order all of my things that I need for show day. I've already ordered to be shipped here. Because logistically in the Bahamas, even if I'm ordering stuff on Amazon and it gets delivered next day, it probably won't get to me in the Bahamas until seven, five, seven days after it gets delivered to the US address. And then a freight forwarder will get it to me here in Nassau. So just being, thinking ahead, uh, making sure that the timelines add up for the things that I can't find here. Um, a lot of things I can find here that I need, and I have some stuff already, but just probably not the full amount um, as far as like dandelion root capsules, my electrolytes that my coach wants me to start taking, um, a couple other stuff I've had to order, my tanning solution, because my husband tans me. Um, so we take our full tanning setup, I've had to order that, uh, just, you know, making my list of things I gotta get done so I'm not like scrambling and crazy. Flights have been booked. Airbnb will be booked tomorrow. Um, we already found it. We were trying to go back and forth deciding which one to get, but I think we've agreed on one. So that is pretty much where I'm at. Really excited. Um, my energy has bumped back up now that I think my hormones are leveled out 
and after yesterday being such a great, like, relaxing day, um, definitely got a good rest last night as well. Trained today, today was day one of my training split, so trained today, and I'm looking forward to an amazing week. Uh, four weeks out, it is go time, it is crunch time. If you've been here, for the last seven episodes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you are new here, welcome. Um, I do encourage you to go back and watch some of the other episodes if you do wanna learn more about my journey to this point. Um, and for those of you who've been dropping the comments, supporting me and rooting me on, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I have gotten a few questions about my walking pad, so I will put that link in the description for you. Uh, if you're interested in grabbing it, I love it. I have a step goal of 16,000 steps a day um, that my coach has prescribed for me. So this walking pad is getting used a lot, okay? Because I don't really wanna go back to the gym to walk on the treadmill. Do I really wanna walk outside for that long? Not really, I could get on this, put something on TV or like just find a podcast, scroll and take my time. And I don't have to worry about like if, I'm, if the weather's bad and I can't get outside, this is perfect. So I'll link this in the description for those of you who are interested. And that is it. I feel like I talked a little longer today. That's how you know my energy is good today. <laughs> I talked a little longer today than the last few episodes, but thank you again. And I will see you on episode nine at the three week out mark. Thank you again for watching and see you then.